Hello again, everyone. I am Chris Shera, and that is Robert Harding. And this is the in Citizen the in the Flesh. As they say. And this is the Citizen Sports Weekly video for Thursday, August 25th, 2016. Uh, we kind of like were invisible last week. And the week before. And the week before that, kind of too. Did it, did everyone ever go up? I don't think so. Oh, man. You it's, can, I'll take the blame for that since. Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, it's my job, and second yeah. of all, I yeah, bond you've, down with someone You've been else. busy, man. I think so. we'll give you a pass on that one. But I'm sure my family's disappointed they've been able to see me on video. But then again, they get to see me in person every day, so I guess that's Much be better on video. Much better, yeah. Less hassle. So, anyways, in the time that we've been gone, things have changed so much in the sports world. We're not going to talk, talk about everything, but we will talk about what probably is our favorite topic that we can talk about any time of the year. But actually, now it makes sense because NFL training camps are starting to wrap up. We're halfway through the preseason. The regular season is two weeks away. Yeah. Two weeks from this coming Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and think about it. College football. There is a college football game on tomorrow night. Hawaii. Of course. Uh, is playing somebody. I forgot who they're playing, but it is a game in Hawaii. So the nice thing is it's a 10 p.m. start here on the East Coast, which means it's a 5 o'clock time out in the islands. So... Means by the time I'm you sorry, get home, four. I'll be able to watch it. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll be watching football nice. tomorrow night. Absolutely. So, all right. So we're going to talk training camps. Robert's the Bills fan. I'm the Dolphins fan. If you don't know that by now, then you've probably never seen these videos before. But we're really going to talk about our teams first, and because uh, that's the teams we know the most about and enjoy. Robert, I'm going to let you go first for the Bills. What have you? Wow. What have you seen in training camp, or what? You know, what do you like about this team as it's heading into the home stretch of the exhibition season? Well, it's funny, uh, you know, you you think about the Bills, you think of Rex Ryan, you think yeah. of the defense, but I'm actually excited about the offense. Uh, I think Tyrod Taylor looks like he's picking up right where he left off and possibly even better mm -hmm. than he was last year, so that's encouraging. Uh, a healthy La LaShawn McCoy is a great thing because, yeah. you know, he's a dual threat. I mean, he's, he's a better runner, obviously, uh, being the team's number one running back, uh, but, you know, he showed on uh, last Saturday uh, playing the uh, – uh, the Giants there that he, you know, is certainly a capable receiver. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what's, uh, you know, exciting to me is that, you know, the potential, the offense, you know, as long as Taylor stays healthy, you know, can make some things happen. Yeah. I, I mean, obviously there's been a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know if they're distractions, but there's been a, the Bills have been in the news lately. And, you know, they, they cut Carlos Williams, and Marcel Darius goes into rehab, and what else am I missing? I, well, I, I mean, anything else? I mean, it, I mean no. I, those are the two big things. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, um, with Darius, you're talking not just the rehab, but the fact that he got suspended for four mm -hmm. games. With Williams, you look at, you know, that was really about the individual. Right. You know, he came into camp overweight, then gets hit with a suspension. I think his was for four games, too. So, you know, uh, they decided to, you know, cut their losses with him. Um, you know, but there's other things, too. There's, you know, there was this chatter that Manny Lawson, one of their outside linebackers, would get a game suspension mm -hmm. for, uh, you know, reportedly being arrested for domestic violence back, I think, in early 2015. Um, so, you know, I mean, they're, they're, on top of that, you have some of the injuries, mm -hmm. you know, mostly to the def uh, defensive unit. Um, so, you know, it hasn't been the easiest uh, mm -hmm. of preseasons for the Bills. No. Well, you know, that being said, I, I think that I think sometimes we overreact to certain things. You know, the like saying, oh, my, you know, everybody's saying the Bills, too many distractions and Rex Ryan and what's going to happen. You know, I think the Bills, I mean, they have to play better on defense. I, I think getting rid of Mario Williams was important. I think he was a distraction and, you know, the defense should be better this year. It's another year in the Rex Ryan system. And like you said, Tyrod Taylor, I mean, he was a surprise last year. And there's no just, you know, there's no contra quarterback controversy. We right. know that he's the starter and E.J. Manuel's going to be the backup. So, you know, this team, I I'll tell you, if, if things break their way, I think if they get some lucky breaks and, and they play up to their potential... Maybe this will be the year. I keep saying this every year. I, I, I think I have more. We should go back and create a, a compilation yeah. of all the times you said, you know well, what? This is the year the Bills are going to make the playoffs for the first time since 1999. I'm, you know, I, I don't know where I am. It's, it's really weird this year. Uh, 
you know, last year I was optimistic. The year mm-hmm. before I was optimistic. Yeah. This year, I don't know where I am yeah. on this team. Uh, you know, I haven't really, you know, I've looked at the schedule before, right. obviously, but, you know, now that the teams mm-hmm. have, you know, kind of been finalized or close to being finalized, you know, you always go back and look at the mm-hmm. schedule and say, okay, where can the Bills pick up some wins? But, yeah, it's, it's just... I think it it really comes down to the defense. I think you know. I think the offense is there. Mm-hmm. You know, you have the players necessary to score points and and you know be a threat. You know, passing and running. You know, the defense is the question mark. You know, especially with the injuries. Mm-hmm. You know, you lost Shaq Lawson, their number one pick. You know, he was supposed to come in and be the next mm-hmm. pass rusher. Yeah. Reggie Ragland at, on the inside linebacker. So. You know, it depends on how those spaces are filled and how those guys do in those backup yeah. roles. Well, slow start but strong finish. I, I can't help the Bills are. I, I have a feeling this is the year the Bills end the Schneid and make the playoffs. But now my Miami Dolphins, on the other hand, they're they're not going to the playoffs. I mean, look, really? Folks, I'm, no, come on. First of all, you have a rookie head coach Such who's crazy. installed a new offensive system. Okay. Yeah. You have a defense that was very disappointing last year that still has major holes at cornerback. Uh, and at linebacker, okay? So, in the defensive line, which should be the strength of the defense, I mean, to me, Cameron Way coming off an Achilles injury, okay? And uh, Dama Kong Su, I love saying his name. I always get stuck on that. But Su, you know, I think he would, I don't see you, I wouldn't say that he was a disappointment last year, but I think you had higher expectations with the money that he, he was He got off to a slow start, right? I mean, he, he, he was he, yeah, he, he was strong towards the end of the nah, season. Yes and no. I mean, I think after they fired the defensive coordinator, things kind of, his attitude changed. Now you bring in Mario Williams, a guy that, from what I've seen in preseason, from what I've been reading in preseason, Hasn't really been playing with much intensity. You figured that this guy was going to be have a chip on his shoulder to prove the Bills wrong, but it looks like he's just like sounds nah, 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 nah. I mean, and, and you don't overreact to preseason too. Dolphins Twitter usually there's a lot of people that just blow up and overreact to every little thing. That's the end of the world. And to me, it's like two preseason games. Let's let's you know let's not say the world's coming to an end. That being said, I mean you're just looking at this team on paper. I mean usually a new coach. You're not going to make the playoffs, and that doesn't. That I mean, your reason why you have a new coach is because your team isn't that good. That being said, I do expect to see improvement of this team. I would love to see this team finish 500, eight and eight, and at least start building the foundation for next year that this team is going to make a step toward the playoffs. Now, look, if they make the playoffs, don't get me wrong. I'm going to be thrilled. I'll be excited. I'd love to be wrong on this, but I'm a realist. I'm the realist offense fan. Okay, I don't. I don't have aqua and orange colored glasses on. Okay, I look at things objectively. Okay, I've been a fan for 40-plus years. I've seen it all. And this year, all I know is you have a transition in offense. You have a defense that has some holes at cornerback and, 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 and linebacker. And uh, that doesn't bode well. So we'll see what happens. Maybe they'll surprise me. But And, of course, Tannehill, the quarterback, Ryan, is, you know, this is year five. And we keep hearing, well, you know, he was a rookie. You can't judge him on that. And then the second year was like, well, he had a horrible offensive line. Then the third year was, well, I have a new offensive coordinator, so he's learning a new offense. And then the fifth year was, well, you know, the offensive coordinator wasn't that good, and they fired the coach, and the offensive line wasn't good again. All right, enough excuses, okay? There are plenty of quarterbacks that play with teams without great offensive lines that do very well, okay? Or in new systems. It does happen, okay? That being said, let's give them this year, see what happens. Maybe we get some progress and uh, if he does, then I guess he'll be around for year six. If not, then the Dolphins could possibly move away from him. They did draft the quarterback in the seventh round, Brandon Dowdy, who uh, grew up right outside the Dolphins training facility in Davie, Florida. Wow. Western uh-huh. Kentucky, and he has shown a little bit in the first couple of preseason games. So well, I'm not expecting him to supplant Tannehill this year, but you never know about next year, though. You just never, ever know. So remember, Tom Brady was a six-round draft pick. It can happen. It's unlikely, but it can happen. There so. it is. You want to hear anything about the Dolphins now that you know I had my say? I've heard I've heard two things about the Dolphins. Okay. One, uh, they have an up-tempo offense, mm-hmm. and then two, uh, the 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 defensive secondary is a little shaky. Yeah, it's very shaky. So. Yeah, I mean they have they drafted a rookie, uh, Xavier Howard, yes. second round. Okay, he's been hurt. He hasn't he uh-huh. hasn't done anything. They expect him to start in two weeks. Wow. Okay, think about that. An injured rookie is supposed to start in two weeks. And Maxwell's on the other side, right? Yeah, he's, no, you know, there's a reason why he was let go. I'm serious. If, if he was that good, you think Seattle would let him go to begin with? No. 
So he's a scheme guy. Let's yeah. put it uh, I, I hate these scheme things. Either you're a good player or you're not. Just because of the way you're playing makes you a better player. Like, oh yeah, okay, he's great at man to man, but he can't play zone. To me, a great player plays great in man to man and zone. Okay, seriously. Preach. All right. All right. Anything else you want to add? No, I'm just right. ready, ready for football. And yeah, uh, I know. I'm excited. You know, I'm excited for not just the uh, the Bills, obviously, but uh, Syracuse Orange. You know. Yeah, we can talk about that next week because yeah. it'll be on the eve of the first game. We can talk a little bit about the Orange. Yeah, and uh, should be fun. So, hey, folks, enjoy the weekend, and we will see you next week.